Erinnern Sie sich noch an diese These watches were invented by Nikolaus Hayek, the same man who dreamed up the smart. Our car tester Konstantin Beims thinks he'd likely have wanted it to be just like this, an electric car. Though Hayek died two years ago, the smart electric drive is now for sale. Und jetzt gibt's auch den smart electric drive zu kaufen. Daimler is still the only major German automaker to produce electric cars on a large scale. The electric drive looks just like all the other smart cars, except that it accommodates a charging cable instead of a fuel nozzle. A full charge should take just an hour at special quick charging stations, but around seven hours are required if you plug it into a socket at home or at one like this in the city. Still, no other electric cars charge any faster. Constantine says you can only remove the plug when the car door is unlocked to make sure passers-by don't pull out the plug. So how does the car drive when the battery's full? It's wonderfully quiet. Just imagine how peaceful our cities would be if there were more electric cars on the roads. And Constantine enjoys the quiet. Constantine says it's like a balm for the soul and doesn't release toxic fumes into the air either. That happens at the coal-fired power plant, which produces the electricity, unless you only use energy from renewable sources like wind, water and solar power. So is this smart car only for eco-freaks? Chester says the electric car takes off like Usain Bolt in the 100 meters. He challenges Porsche drivers to a duel. The electric motor produces 35 kilowatts of power, peaking at 55 kilowatts in short bursts. Like all smarts, the electric drive is highly maneuverable, as well as being clean and quick. Constantine feels this is the perfect city car for those who can afford it. Because this tiny car has a big price tag of close to 24,000 euros. No, Konstantin says, you didn't hear that wrong, 24,000 euros, because unlike watch batteries, car batteries are very pricey. That means the electric drive costs around 10,000 euros more than a similarly equipped gas-powered smart. But dealers do have a special offer. Okay, 19,000. Then the car costs 19,000 euros, Constantine says, plus 65 euros a month for the battery rental. Either way, the electric smart only pays off after you've clocked up over 100,000 kilometers on the odometer. Constantine says you need to do a lot of driving. Tooling around the city won't be enough, so he's taking the car out onto the Autobahn. The Smart wasn't designed for highway driving, especially the electric one. Still, the little car bravely tries to keep up. 120 kilometers an hour. Here he goes uphill a bit. 123 kilometers. Constantine says most gas-powered Smarts don't go much faster. And here the only sound you hear is the wind. The problem with all electric cars is their limited range. Daimler says the vehicle should go 140 kilometers on a single charge. That's enough for the daily commute to work as long as you don't go too fast, though energy is recuperated while coasting and braking. After 100 kilometers, Constantine drives exclusively on reserve power. He'd likely make it to the next power outlet, but then would have to wait for the car to charge. But then it's easy to miscalculate. Maybe electric cars are still best suited to city driving.